Hello learners of biology. Today I want us to look at how carbohydrates are assimilated in the body. Because carbohydrates are a class of foods. When we talk about carbohydrates, we know monosaccharides are the building blocks of carbohydrates. So when you talk about utilization, assimilation of carbohydrates, then you have to think about how monosaccharides are produced. Monosaccharides, first of all, have to be broken down by cellular respiration. They can be broken down by cellular respiration. And cellular respiration, I emphasize, is a very important process in obtaining energy from monosaccharides. So energy is produced when monosaccharides are broken down by respiration inside cells. The other option available in terms of utilization of carbohydrates is that monosaccharides can be converted into glycogen. And when we talk about conversion into glycogen here, we are talking about excess glucose. So when the glucose is in excess, it can be converted into glycogen. And that is done actually or carried out in the liver. So the liver is a very important organ in terms of assimilation of glucose in terms of conversion of the excess glucose into glycogen takes the process takes place in the liver that is what we have to know for this level the other option available for monosaccharides is that if glucose is insufficient if glucose is insufficient then the glycogen which is stored in the liver can be converted back into glucose that is one way into which we have carbohydrates being utilized in the body. So um, that is normally going to be common, especially if somebody is carrying out a vigorous activity like exercising. So you're going to have insufficient glucose and glycogen can then be converted, broken down in the liver to convert it back into glucose. That is to restore now the amount of glucose to normal within the blood. So the excess glucose, back to the excess glucose, when glucose is still in excess, Within the blood or in the body, it can still be converted like we are going to learn later. It can still be utilized in different ways. So excess glucose can be converted into glycogen. We talked about that. But then the excess glycogen can also be converted into fats. Then the fats will then be stored. And where are they stored? They are stored in various places. As fats, they can be stored under the skin in form of adipose tissue around visceral organs or internal organs in terms of visceral fat. So under the skin, that's what we can see in that image over there. That yellow structure under the skin is actually fat. And that is fat, which has been produced as a result of conversion of the excess glycogen into fats. And then now what you're seeing at the center of our image there is actually fat, visceral fat, fat around internal organs. That is if somebody is now eating a lot of carbohydrates and then they are accumulating in the body. So visceral fat will basically be found around internal organs, also around our delicate organs because we know fat also helps in protecting our delicate organs like around the heart over here. So a healthy heart would look like this. This is a healthy heart. And a heart which is actually unhealthy will have a lot of visceral fat around it. So we have to practice healthy lifestyles, especially in challenging times as these, when we are in one place and you don't move, we have to create time and be active so that we don't have any excess glucose accumulating, which will create actually health risks to our bodies. So Emphasis again gets back to one thing, the liver. The liver is a very important, very, very important organ in terms of assimilation of carbohydrates and also the skin. The skin is also necessary as we have learned that that's where we store the excess fat. Thank you for listening. God bless you.